Now, let's bring in our panel now. I'm joined by Susie O'Brien, who's a columnist with the Herald Sun in Melbourne, and Stephen Senatiempo, who's the breakfast host at 2 C in Canberra. Thanks, both of you, for joining us. Uh, want to get your thoughts uh, top Thank of the you. show about the breaking news. You'd both be aware of the racism investigation that circled around the Hawthorne AFL Club in recent times, the fact that it centred on the former Hawthorne coach, Alistair Clarkson, who's recently stepped away from his job at, uh, at North Melbourne. Also, the Lions coach, Chris Fagan. Well, the announcement tonight from the AFL, they've cleared up this investigation. No action against either of those men, those men to be taken from here on in. Here's Gillan McLaughlin, the AFL CEO. No adverse findings have been made in the independent investigation against any of the individuals against whom allegations have been made. Bill McLaughlin there. Now, Susie, this will be such big news in Melbourne, but these two blokes have been taken through the ringer publicly for months for no good reason, clearly. Oh, you can see the toll this has taken, not just on those men, but everyone involved in this um, appalling situation where there was a review that had absolutely no power, no teeth. It dragged on and on and on. And the people who made the complaints, the Indigenous players and their families, they're not winners in any of this either. It is absolutely appalling. And the, the fact that there were no findings, no adverse findings in any way against the people at the centre of this, what was it all for? All it did was ruin lives and ruin careers and cause absolute havoc. Yeah, it's just shocking, Stephen. We've seen this sort of thing in a lot of organisations. It's really an attempt, sort of a clearinghouse, almost to tick their diversity boxes. We'll have a look at this stuff. But if you're going to have a look mm. at stuff like this, there's got to be some natural justice involved. You can't just have anonymous smearing of people's reputations. Yeah, Chris, as you know, I'm not a huge follower of the AFL, but this just seems to be a, a part of a broader problem in the Australian Football League that we see these allegations all the time. And I wonder if it's just an easy way to play the politics that goes on inside these organisations, because we, we've seen it time and time again. I mean, we're seeing it with the voice debate where anybody who's opposed to what is called a racist, it's just an easy way to call somebody an ist or a phobe to tarnish the people that you, you want to have a crack at. And I, I think there needs to be a... Maybe there needs to be a broader inquiry on what is actually going on right across the AFL if these complaints keep popping up. Yeah, we'll have a talk uh, uh, in, in a little while about the nature of public debate in this country and that plays into the voice as well because the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, has talked about social media. But just before we uh, finish with this topic, Susie, tell us what you think about what we'll see. Now, Chris Fagan has stayed at the helm of, uh, of the Brisbane Lions throughout, but Alistair, Alistair Clarkson resigned from... North Melbourne, took oh. leave from North Melbourne just a couple of weeks ago. In fact, I suspect if he hadn't have done this, this thing would still be going on. This, that might have brought the inquiry to a head. But surely uh, it's time for him to hopefully come back and put this behind him and take the, the reins again at North Melbourne. Well, you know, the, the, the look of that man's face on the front page of our paper, it was on all of the news, is he was absolutely broken. He was a broken man. It's hard to imagine that he's going to come back this season. But he's got a lot to offer now that he's been cleared for these, you know, pretty serious allegations. That the, It does very much clear the way for him to come back. I reckon he just needs to sit on a beach somewhere for the rest of this yeah. season and earn a bit of um, downtime, come back next year all refreshed and um, any club would be very happy. Happy to have him. And I'll tell you what, a general point, anybody who's involved in uh, AFL footy clubs, and I, and I understand it's pretty much the same in the NRL, if you see the care uh, and attention and nurturing that young Indigenous players get from their club, yeah. it's pretty universal and it's, a, and it's a strong point of the game, not something where people should be singled out and shamed like this.